These two are just amazing. <laughs> June favorites for you and I actually have two products that didn't work out for me as well so I'll go ahead and share that with you at the end but let's get started with some of the stuff that I've been loving this month um, the first product is this guy right here and this is a blush from Catkin isn't the packaging so so cute I absolutely love it this is like the box that it comes in and then this is the actual compact I fell in love with it. The color is so, so beautiful. This is in the shade C03, and it's such a pretty, like, perfect peach color, and especially if you have a warm undertone, this is going to look beautiful on you. The next one that I have is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. <sighs> this concealer is fabulous. I absolutely love it. It is a very very popular concealer so I wouldn't be surprised if all of you guys knew about it but this concealer came out years ago and I fell in love with it but then I kind of stopped using it for a little while but now that I'm using it again I'm back to loving it so I wanted to share it with you guys this is in the shade uh, medium one custard and it's just a really good concealer <laughs> it comes with a standard doe foot applicator and just like the name says it's radiant it's creamy it has beautiful coverage it blends out effortlessly and i just love it i'm wearing underneath the eye area right now and i think it's awesome okay the next two products are also face products this here is my tower 28 bronzino west coast bronzer i <laughs> i feel like i've mentioned this in like the past three monthly favorites videos but seriously i cannot get enough love from this bronzer it is so so good it's the bronzer that i'm wearing currently and i feel like this bronzer is just it's just amazing the pigmentation is beautiful the color is awesome the beautiful like shimmer throughout it is so natural but it still gives you that beautiful sun-kissed glow and it just makes you look bronzed and sexy and gorgeous and oh my gosh i love it it's very very easy to apply it's not gonna pill your foundation underneath and i just think it's awesome so i absolutely love this you can see <laughs> Mine looks a little dirty, but I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Absolutely love that. And then this here is my, what is this? The Hourglass Vanish Champagne Flash Highlighter. And this guy is a cream highlighter. And I really, really love this. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but it actually goes on very, very beautifully. It's not like a streak of glitter or like a streak of shimmer on your face. I think it blends out really, really nicely. You can build it up so that it looks like a very wham bam thank you ma'am highlight <laughs> or you can kind of dab it out and sheer it out and it's really just going to give you like a glow from within look and i have been loving this and i think it's a really really nice highlighter okay now i have three mascaras <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've just been loving mascaras and cheek products. So the first two is kind of like a little set. So this is from the brand called Heroin Make. And this is the Long and Curl Mascara, super waterproof. And then this guy here is the Speedy Mascara Remover. So I think these are like a match made in heaven. If you have straight lashes or if you have like puny little Asian lashes like I do that like to either point straight or point downward or they're very sparse and not very you know my lashes just suck okay <laughs> this mascara does actually a really really good job at holding the curl i think it lengthens beautifully the only thing that it doesn't do is volumize which is why 
I like to use this primer with it. So let me just finish about this mascara first. So I think it's awesome. It's very, very, very waterproof. Um, it will not come off. So I think it's awesome to use on the lower lash line. And I would also recommend you get the mascara remover because this like I swear nothing will take it off even my Clinique take the day off cleansing balm it'll help remove it but I feel like this because it's purely oil based these two are just amazing <laughs> okay and then for volume I really really like using the Marc Jacobs velvet primer so this guy is a nude colored primer and I swear i cannot shut up about this primer because it is so dang good <laughs> it is amazing like i'm seriously at a loss for words of how much i love this because when i first bought it i was like okay there is no way that this primer is gonna be amazing because it's just a mascara primer but it is seriously absolutely wonderful and I highly, highly recommend it. I will continuously recommend this product for the rest of my life because I think it's that good. Seriously, if you guys have lashes like I do that don't like to curl, that are pretty much just the worst lashes, very, very short, not very thick, very sparse, get this primer. It is amazing. It lengthens my lashes, it makes them look thicker, and it. I really, really like using this primer with that mascara because I feel like that mascara, it needed something to cling to to give it that additional boosted volume, and this is exactly what that does. I will seriously not use a mascara without using this primer anymore because I feel like this is one of the primers that truly enhances every single mascara that I've used, and I I love it. It is amazing. <laughs> All right, and then I have two lip products here. So the first one is the Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Suburbia and Buff. So both of these came out in the Divine Rose 2 collection and I love it. I think they're beautiful colors and these are very, 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 very long wearing. If you want a lip pencil to make sure your lipstick doesn't feather or if you want to wear it as a lipstick, I think these are beautiful. The shades are super pretty. They're very natural. You know, they're not too dark, but they're not too light to the point where it's gonna wash you out. I think these colors are awesome. Buff is perfect if you want a little bit more of a peachier undertone and then Suburbia is perfect if you want a little bit more pink. So I love these and I think they're beautiful and again they're very very long wearing so highly recommend that. And then the last favorite that I have is the Jeffree Star The Gloss and this is in the shade Heaven's Gate. <sighs> this gloss is stunning. I absolutely love it. It is like such a pretty icy pearlized white and I know it looks a little scary in the tub or in the tube. <laughs> Not the tub. <laughs> oh my god and it smells so good. It just smells like vanilla cupcakes but this gloss is my favorite gloss to put on on top of any nudes or any light colors. I just think it makes them shine and pop and it makes your lips look juicy and beautiful and I love this gloss and I really really do think that this color, even though it's a white, you can pretty much wear it with any lip color and it'll totally transform how your lipstick looks. So I think it's absolutely worth it and I have been really really enjoying that lately okay so now for the two products that I have not so much been loving the first one is the music flower liquid eyebrow pen and this is in the shade I don't know <laughs> okay so this is one of the like micro blade looking pens from Amazon and I 
really want to find one that works because what I use currently is the Urban Decay Brow Blade and I love that. I think it's such a staple in my collection but it's pretty pricey for what it is and I would really like to find a more inexpensive option but this just did not do it for me. I don't know if you guys can see the swatches there, but can you guys see how like streaky and unpigmented and here, let me try to show you guys. So hopefully you guys can see, I'm trying to get it to focus, focus, please. There we go. Okay, so can you guys see how the lines that I'm making are very very inconsistent and this is not what I want on my brows because when you're trying to use it it skips and then in some spots it'll give you like a dark splotch and then you're trying to blend that out and it's just not good I don't recommend <laughs> it's just not good I don't recommend it don't buy it okay the last product that I have is the House Labs Stupid Love Palette. This freaking palette, <laughs> um, let me just try to wipe off that eyebrow pen. Okay, this palette is quite a disappointment, unfortunately. So it comes in this like silver packaging and then it comes with a card of Lady Gaga, which I think is beautiful. But these colors, you guys, are seriously so lackluster. Like, I think this palette is like a $50 palette. And I said in my Amazon makeup video, I was like, I want to try this out more. I want to give it a fair chance. And I really want to see if you know, if I think it's worth $50 and I'm here to report that it's not. I absolutely do not think this palette is worth the money or honestly, I don't even know if this palette is worth $10 because I feel like Wet n Wild has better quality than this palette. I swear I'm not trying to dog on House Labs or Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga and I respect her so so much like her what is it the glam attack eyeshadows i love those i'm wearing one of them right now and i think those are awesome but this palette just did not do it for me especially the shade called 1000 doves horrible pigment it is so flaky it's so like just feeling it it does not feel like a good shadow and you guys can see i'm I'm rubbing pretty hard and seriously for that like that's all the pigmentation I get okay and then this shade right here called Alice again it's just like that's not the pigmentation that I would expect from those colors um, this one right here called rain on me this one is I mean it's better than these two but it's still not amazing like I don't know when I look at these colors I just expected more I guess so I don't know but there are some really really pretty colors in here as well so I did want to mention that um, like this color right here called fun tonight I mean you guys can tell that one is stunning see super nice pigmentation super smooth and then this one right here called Babylon <laughs> that one is also beautiful very very smooth what else this one right here called sign that one is beautiful see like this palette is so hit or miss and I feel like if all of the shadows were formulated like this, then I would have no problem with it. That would be a beautiful palette, but since this palette is so inconsistent and there's a lot of shadows in here that I don't think is good quality, I can't recommend it. But if you, like, I don't know, I just, I can't recommend this, okay? <laughs> I 
tried to find like good points of it and like I said there are good shadows in here but the fact that it's $50 and you know honestly I don't really like most of the colors in here I can't say that I like it so anyways <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching let me know in the comments below have you guys tried this palette if so what do you think of it and also let me know what other products you have been loving this month I'd love to hear your thoughts and yeah so if you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one go ahead and hit that notification bell so you are notified of my future uploads and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah. bye bye